Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com How to make your own fish shaped wine bottle stand with easy lamination process wood bending. Now we're going to start with uh, several pieces of a thin wood called uh, base wood which I picked up at the local arts and crafts store. These are uh, 1 16th thick and I'm going to apply uh, wood glue to each to one side of each piece and assemble uh, four or five sheets uh, basically creating our own plywood. Before that glue dries I'm going to clamp it into uh, a form which I created uh, just cutting a uh, arc into a piece of 4x4. Four four. This was an old uh, pressure treated 4x4 four four post and with a clamp I'm going to very quickly and easily uh, be able to uh, pull that wood down into the form to the desired curve. Now you can note on this particular form I'm actually back bending uh, the material of the wood. Um, this will end up being the fin for the, or the tail fin for the fish. And once all of the clamps are in place and the wood is uh, clamped to the desired curves, I actually set it aside uh, overnight uh, for that glue to dry. Once that glue is dried uh, and we've created our own uh, plywood, it will hold the shape of the form. I uh, just basically take off uh, each of the clamps that were holding it into position. And sometimes a little of the glue gets uh, you know, squeezed out. You might have to work that, uh, that form uh, off of the plywood material. But you can see that once it's free, it holds its shape very, very nicely. Now, in order to create the fish, uh, this wood is very soft, very easy to cut. I'm going to just going to sketch uh, the outline of the fish directly onto the material, onto the wood. And then I'm going to use a, a jigsaw to cut out uh, the rough shape of the fish. And then once the rough shape is done, I'll use a, uh, a series of different bits on a Dremel grinder to sand it into shape uh, and also to cut some additional texture and lines onto the fins, the tail, the gills, the mouth, etc. Like I said before, this wood cuts very, very easily, which is a good thing. The, the bad thing is it's not a hard wood, so it's not going to stand up as well as a hard wood. Um, and in order to get around that, uh, instead of using uh, polyurethane for the finished coat, I'm actually going to use a two-part uh, epoxy that's normally used uh, to coat the bar tops. So now I'm just using a uh, Dremel grinder with a cutoff wheel to add some additional uh, lines uh, to the uh, fish's fins and also some uh, details uh, to the tail. It just adds a little bit of texture. You can use your own artistic creativity here. A couple curved lines create the illusion of the fish's gill, gills, and then I'll cut a, uh, a hole uh, for the fish's eye and that will actually be large enough to hold the neck of a wine bottle. Once all of the cuts are made, I happen to use a pencil to darken uh, the lines created by the Dremel uh, grinding cutting wheel. And this just allows uh, each of those lines to stand out a little bit uh, after the wood has been stained. That's basically it. The fish is done. The only thing that's left is to stain it, and you can stain it any color you like. Um, and then apply uh, polyurethane or, like I'm going to use, a two-part epoxy. In either case, uh, let it dry uh, completely uh, before you use it, otherwise it'll get stuck to the countertop or stuck to your wine bottle. Um, I actually hang the fish in my uh, boiler room. Uh, you know, the heat facilitates the drying process a little bit. And that's basically it. A very easy to make, fish-shaped wine bottle stand.
please check us out on the web at www.diyeasycrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos. And if you like this video, I ask that you please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel.